your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Saturday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with an update on the current conditions for where it comes to climate data across the Mid-South. Your weekend is showing a pretty hot start to everything out there. It could always be worse, though. 119 degrees was the high temperature for the United States today. That's set in Death Valley, California. 95 was our high temperature here in the Mid-South, but a lot more humidity in and around the area. Three degrees above normal, 10 degrees within a record high, which was last set back in 1980 of 105 degrees and a record low, wouldn't that be nice, of 60 degrees last set back in 1967. So something of a bit of a misnomer there where it comes to temperatures across the Mid-South. Pretty typical for this time of the year, just a little bit above normal for this time of the year as well. Taking a look at rainfall data, even though we had a lot of showers around the Mid-South and picked up a lot of rainfall downtown in the News Channel 3 studio backyard, we did not pick up anything officially for the National Weather Service, so we wound up with another dry day in the area. We're still ahead for the month and for the year, so we are doing pretty good where we come to anything involving moisture. Sunrise and sunset pretty equal. We'll be losing daylight over the course of the next several days and weeks as we head from summer towards fall, so again, pretty good amounts of sunlight out there about 14 hours plus but starting to lose the daylight into the next couple of days moon will be heading toward full in the next few days so at least we get some of that a lot of cloud cover at nighttime could block out some of the views of the moon and looking again at hopefully a little bit less rainfall in the next few days to get some outdoor activities and maybe some stargazing at nighttime so that'll be kind of nice one earthquake to report boot heel missouri just within the hour of recording this in downtown memphis looking back toward the boot heel missouri a fairly weak earthquake if you did feel this please tell the center for earthquake research and information about it and also again the united states geological survey where you can get more information from them at earthquake.usgs.gov and you can also check out the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the, the University of Memphis and that's at memphis.edu slash CERI for more earthquake information across the area. National Weather Service <coughs> excuse me, will be issuing a code orange ozone alert that will be coming up into tomorrow, not for tonight as pollutants stack up across the Mid-South, we'll be seeing again some problems for people who have lung ailments like emphysema and asthma. Tomorrow, the best bet would be to be indoors during the hottest part of the day for air conditioning purposes as more ozone gas out there could cause some problems with breathing. So if you have lung ailments like that, keep your rescue inhaler handy and anything like that and be sure to know when to call for help as per necessary. Now this is because the National Weather Service and the Shelby County Health Department has issued a code orange ozone alert, an air quality warning basically for the entire metro area. This will continue in effect through tomorrow afternoon and evening. Whether or not this continues for the next couple of days with a stagnant atmosphere, we'll have to watch that very carefully. We'll have updates on this and also a whole bunch of other stuff on News Channel 3 at 10 later on tonight and also on News Channel 3 Daybreak that'll be coming up early tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m. on Sunday. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of your climate data. Stay tuned for more coming up at WREG.com weather and on air and online from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center.